Our first guest is an incredible 12-year-old singer who just became the youngest winner of America's Got Talent in 10 years. Look at her. America has voted the winner of the $1 million and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is... Grace Van Der Waal! Please welcome Grace Van Der Waal. Did you think, like, I'm gonna win this thing, or were you preparing yourself saying, no, the clairvoyance were gonna win? Be well, no, because, you know, if you, like, ever watch a show, every season it's kind of like a magician or a magician-y type act. Yeah. yeah. But then you go ahead and win the whole thing. It's amazing. <laughs> And it people is. are comparing you to Taylor Swift. And do you see that comparison? Do you understand why they're doing that? Well, you know, uh, there have been like tons of different uh, in like interprets of what he meant from like, I kind of look like her, also that she cut her hair into a bra bob. Because of you, probably. And, <laughs> and I finally found out what it means because after the show, Simon Cowell called me into his dressing room and we talked. And he was just like, and that's what I meant when I called you the ta next Taylor Swift. Not because you look like her, not because you sound like her. And he said, because he's worked with Taylor Swift and she's like strong and knows her opinion. And he said, that's how he feels about me. Wow, well. <laughs> it's a good impression. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very good impression of him. And probably because you write your own songs too. And she wrote all of her own songs. Mm -hmm. So you started writing at what age? Uh, about a year ago. Just a year ago? <laughs> no, is that right? Because I started playing the ukulele about a year ago, and I started writing a few months after. Wow. And but you, did you take ukulele? Did people take ukulele lessons? Is there a ukulele teacher? Uh, I've seen people. T I'd see guitar, but I I've never seen a ukulele teacher. Yeah, I've never. It's. I guess it would be really hard to find. I mean, in Hawaii, if you went li like lived there, I'm sure. Probably. You find it everywhere, but. It was really just YouTube. YouTube is an amazing place. <laughs> and that's how you, you taught yourself from looking at YouTube? Yeah. That's amazing. So you won, tw you won a, a million dollars, is that right? Yes. A million dollars. <laughs> Do you understand what that is? Like, like, before this, how much did you had saved before you got this million dollars? <laughs> did you have an allowance? No. So you didn't have any money saved? No, I remember in like first grade, all these kids would like come to school and be like, the tooth fairy gave me $20. Oh yeah, well the tooth gave, fairy gave me $50. People in first grade are getting $50 a tooth? Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous. What is this generation coming to? <laughs> That's right, you tell them. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, we're gonna see you perform. Okay. All right. Just say that I don't know my name. I don't play by the rules of the game. So you say I'm just trying, just trying. I now know my name. I don't play by the rules of the game. Find my 
Voice, beautiful voice and great song. That's amazing songwriting at that age. You have a million dollars and you need someplace safe to keep it. I know that you're going to donate a lot of it, which is really great, but some of it you're going to keep and you need to keep it someplace safe. So a lot of people keep their money in mattresses. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you this special mattress. And <laughs> 